Welcome back watch fans and thanks for watching another video from Todd's Watch Shop. Today I've got a special watch that comes from the country of United Kingdom, England. This will be the first time I've ever done one of these watches before. Uh, it is a, if I'm, if I did my, my orders correct, this should be a Hawker Hurricane. So I'm pretty excited because I have never even set eyes on one of these before other than um, on the internet. So I'm pretty excited how this is going to look. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let's see. Okay. Ooh. AV8. So it's AVI 8 time instruments. Very excited. Very excited. Oh, I like this. It's very Air Force military-like, very British. So this is a British company, and um, the theme tends to be, most of their planes tend to be either Vietnam era or uh, World War I, World War II. Gosh, this is great. I love this. The stitching is great. If you can't tell, this is sort of a, uh, um, a canvas that has an actual button, and, and uh, that's sort of the British uh, airplane logo. Let's see. Oh, I like it. I like it. Let's see, is there a manual in there? Oh, I like that too. That's nice. A little pillow. Oh, this is excellent. I'll start putting these things off to the side so you can kind of see them. All right, so we got the watch. Oh, this is great. God, that watch is gorgeous. I'm so glad I got this. Man, I was concerned too about the size. This is, this is spectacular. Put that there. And let's see what else we got here. Silica gel. Okay, I won't eat that. There is a little catalog manual. Oh, it's just a card. For warranty coverage from AVI, please register your product at register.avi.co.uk. All right. And even get a little monogrammed AVI. I think this is a cleaning cloth. This is very nice. I'm trying to put this together so it fits in the screen. Foam pad. This is excellent. Oh, this is so great. All right, well, before I start really getting into the watch and talking a lot about it, I want to show a brief history of the AV8 brand. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Founded in 2012, AVI8, pronounced Aviate, is a fairly young British micro brand watch company. The company's theme focuses on pilot and aircraft watches that pay tribute to aviation. Aviate has six main collections Flyboy, Hawker Harrier, Hawker Hunter, Hawker Hurricane, P 51 Mustang, and Spitfire, all famous fighter planes. The brand's collection of watches honor not only the aircraft, but also the pilots, engineers, and designers who made flying them possible. While all of these pay homage to aviation, they each have their own unique designs and functions that are dedicated to the aircraft for which they are named. In addition to the theme, the major selling point of the watch brand is the price point. All of their watches are priced between $225 to $425 US dollars. These watches can be purchased at all major watch retailers and big box stores, as well as direct online ordering. Aviate's mission statement declares, instead of creating another pilot watch, we want to get a deeper look into the shape and form of an aircraft and tell some of the incredible stories behind aviation to help draw the brand. The vision is to produce watches that are functional yet enjoyable to wear, which also tell a story of both man and machine. We would like to be one of the most respected watch brands in the world by delivering unparalleled excellence in design, specification, value in an ever competitive market. To represent timepieces that are timeless yet always relevant in remembering the heroism of the many who have been involved in the chapters of aviation, and to build a community of Aviate watch fans and enthusiasts globally and shed light on important and interesting facets of aviation history. All right, now that you had some time to watch that quick video, let's get right into the watch. 
Um, so this watch, uh, obviously I'm very excited about it. This is, there's, there's a lot of watches in this price range. Um, normally this watch retails for about $225. This is on the lower end of their, of their spectrum. Uh, I paid about $92 shipped, but, um, I probably could have gotten it cheaper because I started looking around and I actually found a, a, a website, which I'm going to start going to regularly for about, sells for about $63. So this is an excellent watch. Um, it is a slightly older model. I think it's recently been discontinued, but there are many that are still available. Um, and it's it's very nice. Let me get these things out of the way so we can focus on the watch. Uh, but I'm really happy with it. It's uh, packaged, <laughs> it uses, I don't know if you guys see this, but it uses this, uh, this uh, cellophane wrap. It's the same stuff that I use actually. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Uh, you can get it in rolls, and whenever I restore and sell a watch, I always wrap it in that as well. It just helps keep the fingerprints off of it. But I'm, I'll go ahead and get this stuff off so we can start to see it. Oh, good Lord. There's no way I'm getting this stuff off. Jeez. Um, All right, well, that was an experience. Took some time getting that off. But you can see it's it's really nice. Uh, as I said, there's a lot of watches in this price range, but in particular, this is a really nice theme watch. So the theme being, of course, aviation. Uh, a lot of the other watch companies, although they have excellent style, uh, there's there's really no theme. I mean, I, I suppose the new Ingersolls are sort of vintage American, if that's a theme. But um, what I really like about this is is that this watch is just it's just spectacular. Um, it has a Japanese movement. We'll dig into that a little bit more. Um, one of the things I don't like, and you know, you can kind of tell in this price range, um, it, usually the watch is under 350. This doesn't line up. Um, for me, that's, that's kind of a pain. There's actually another sticker on here. I usually end up taking these off and sometimes they're, they're multi-threaded and you can, if you put a little bit of effort into it, which does kind of bug me. I will take this this off and I will reseat it and I will probably do that when I open it up to find out what movement is in it. Um, why don't we do that right now? I'm going to put this down and I'm going to do a quick video about the movement. I know it's a Japanese quartz movement so we'll find out a little bit more about that. The AVI Hawker Hurricane Chronograph uses the VD-51C movement by SII. Founded in 1937, SII is a member of the Seiko Group and stands for Seiko Instruments Incorporated. SII specializes in the manufacture of watches and leverages its core competency to create high-precision watches and movements that are utilized by watch manufacturers all over the world. As a well-known quality movement manufacturer, Seiko Watch Corporation cooperates closely with watch producers in the planning and sales to ensure their movements are well represented. The VD-51C is a five-hand standard chronograph with calendar date. It includes a 60-second and a 60-minute chronograph counter that utilizes a two-pole stepping motor with electronic circuit reset. Although there are zero joules in this movement, it is considered a high-quality slash high-value movement. The VD-51C uses the SR920SW silver oxide battery and does not support a hacking feature for extended battery life. The VD-51B's typical battery life is estimated at approximately two years, while the VD-51C's version found in this watch supports a battery life of up to three years. Accuracy of the movement is quite good, maintaining plus or minus 20 seconds per month at normal operating ambient temperature range. This movement may also be sold by additional watch manufacturers, which includes Hattori and Epson. The non-SII branded movements are assembled using Seiko parts by their respective companies. All right, now that you've had some time to watch that video on the movement, you'll see that it has a Seiko movement in it. Now, I'm very surprised. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I'm actually very happy because uh, the Seiko movement is a very high quality movement uh, with very good accuracy. Um, I've worked with uh, a lot of these movements like the 7T32 in the past, and um, they are very good high quality movements, even though they don't have any jewels in them. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on this review so we can get it finished up. Um, one of the first things you'll notice about this watch, which I really like about it, is that it has the the vintage British racing green color. Now, a little bit of interesting history. This this color has been used for quite some time. Uh, originally, it was used in World War One. 
Um, it was also used in World War II. Uh, there was so much of it left over that uh, they ended up painting race cars on it. And a little bit more trivia, the first time it was actually used in a race car was in 1903. Uh, I believe they called it Shamrock Green at the time, and it was a similar color. And because they had so much of it left over after the war, they started painting colors, uh, cars that color. And they, they, they kind of called it British Racing Green, even though it was different than the Shamrock. But everyone used it, and it just kind of, kind of worked. So it, it pays homage to really the old British race cars as, as well as the, uh, the fighter planes. I'm going to go ahead and set the time. Uh, it is... Okay, cool. A little bit after 10. 10, 10. It's nice you can still see the dial. All right. One of the first things, too, that I'll mention about this movement um, that, that is distinct of this movement, Vice uh, sans all the other chronographs you'll find, is that the large second hand is actually used for seconds rather than for the chronograph. Now, some people prefer to see that, but not me. I, I would really much rather watch the, the second hand actually be used for seconds. I'm going to go ahead and start it so you can see. The top dial is used for the 60-second six, uh, clock, and the bottom is for the 60 minutes for up to an hour. Um, it's a very nice pol uh, brushed case with polished buttons. Um, the bezel is also uh, it's also brushed. The back is polished. You, you notice that I was able to get it uh, to at least within a 90 degree. The uh, screw-on case back has an O-ring in there. Each one of these also has a separate O-ring. The... Uh, Water resistance is only five atmospheres, so that's 50 meters. That's still pretty decent. Uh, I'll put up a chart. I can't remember what that actually means. I know that you can go in the rain with it. You can wash your dishes with it in the sink, uh, and you can shower with it if you want. I'm not sure if it means that you can go swimming with it. I would pretty much prefer a uh, 100 meter watch uh, if I was actually going to go swimming with it. 50 meters, in my opinion, is just a little bit too risky, um, but it's a good all-around watch. There's a lot you can do with this watch and, and, and not be concerned about messing it up. The uh, the crystal is not sapphire, but you shouldn't really expect that with a $200 plus dollar watch that typically starts to come around the $350 to $400 range. As I've mentioned before, sapphire is about 10 times the cost of mineral crystal. So, but this is still decent. Um, it's a very nice mineral crystal with a beveled edge, although most have beveled edge. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this? The uh, the crown sort of has the signature uh, British Air Force logo, RAF uh, logo on it, which is very cool. Um, this quite honestly looks like a fighter pilot gauge from I'd say the 1970s and a little bit perhaps a little earlier. And, and I think that really lends itself well to the style. And as I'd mentioned before, this is really a theme watch. There's a lot of watches that have a certain style that you come to expect from the brand, but there aren't a lot of theme watches out there. And I really like this, the fact that it's a fighter pilot. I'm not a pilot, but I do I do really like uh, the fact that they've, they've taken that um, theme into this watch. Um, everything is signed. You can see AV8 there on the buckle uh, on the back. Even the watch strap is signed. Very nice leather. Uh, let me go ahead and measure these so we can get a good idea of what the size is. I think this is a 45 millimeter. Yep, 45 millimeter. Uh, and I think the case is, what did I see, about 11? Yep, about 11 and a half. And even the, the watch strap is pretty thick, which I've grown to, to start to appreciate. So about a four, four millimeter watch strap. The Ingersolls also have that too, which I really like. This is a very nice quality leather strap. You'll notice it's pressed leather, but this is thick. This, um, it doesn't come out well in the video, but this is actually really good quality. This isn't just garbage. This isn't one of those cheap, cheap ones that you get on eBay that are made somewhere. Even though I like the studs. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like at night test the loom out. That's excellent. I like that. It's very clear. You can definitely tell the top. The minute and hour hands are lit up. You don't see the second hand, but that's okay. Or any of the chronograph hands as well. Let's 
So stopping this should return the chronograph back to its normal position. Yep. So the start is also the stop and then that's the reset, which actually I kind of like that. That's, that's different than a lot of the others. So this is very nice. All around, this is an excellent watch. I, I'm really happy with it. I, I, I can't say that enough. I think it's an excellent value for the price. And I'm gonna put it on right now. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe. I try to post one, at least one every week. I'm also doing a repair series. So I'm gonna start doing that. I do repair watches regularly, so. Uh, you'll get to see that. Um, if you have any recommendations for some other watches you'd like to see me review, please leave that in the comments section and be sure to like. And once more, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you very much.